every fan is welcome. And today we're going to talk about if the Indianapolis Colts should go ahead and trade for 49ers star wide receiver Debo Samuel. So if you enjoy Colts content and NFL content, make sure you like, subscribe, put that post notification bell on so you miss any future videos. And let's get into it. So you go on Twitter, ESPN, breaking Debo has asked the 49ers to trade him. So the 49ers don't want to trade him, but I'm sure if they get a wild enough offer, they'll trade him away. But are the Colts a team to give a wild offer? Are the Colts a team to go out there and trade the bank to trade the field for anyone? You know, Chris Ballard doesn't even value the wide receiver position at an extremely high level. So to go and trade a first, you know, or a second for this guy isn't really in Chris Ballard's mind. It isn't really in the ballpark for Chris Ballard because we also have to pay this dude and he's going to want a lot of money. He wants around $20 million per year. So you go and look at Debo, <clears throat> same one PFF. You see, you know, you, you don't even have to look at PFF to know that this wide receiver is a stud. You know, Debo Samuel is a fantastic route runner. Is very fast. Decent hands, but, you know, people overshadow his hands a little bit. I think I don't think they're as good as people think they are, but but his hands are really damn good. Um, but Debo Samuel coming to the Colts is unrealistic. You know, it's something we would all love to see. We would all love to come and see Debo play with Matt Ryan, Jonathan Taylor, Michael Pittman, all these other guys in the offense. But if you take a step back and look at it, Debo Samuel is... You know, he really just wants to play wide receiver. So we know he's played running back. You know, he's played a running back role and a wide receiver role. He's kind of like a hybrid over there. You know, a wide back, what he refers it to as. Um, you know, having a wide receiver run like that as a running back, how much is it going to lower his career? How much is it going to make his career go by faster? Because, you know, running backs usually don't last long. So if he's going to be taking hits like that as a running back too and playing wide receiver, what is his shelf life going to be like? How long is he going to be able to play? So I think that's one of the reasons why he really wants to just play wide receiver. And, you know, he also get paid more. So Debo Samuel to the Colts, as I said, it's not in Chris Ballard's ballpark. It's not in the Colts' ballpark. But, you know, it's fun to talk about it. It's fun to talk about this scenario. So the Colts did go ahead and actually trade, you know, maybe a second. Because don't forget, teams are still going to have to pay him. So... You know, to get a first out of Debo is kind of wild. Be you know, maybe even a second is pushing it a little bit, but he is so talented. Don't forget, you still have to pay him. You still have to pay him, and that lowers the value that you're going to get for him in a trade. So, if Chris Ballard went ahead and traded for him, right, you would have Debo. You would have all these other guys. But you have your Debo Samuel and Naheem Hines. Heck. Even Paris Campbell can play both. If healthy, Paris Campbell could have a season similar to Debo Samuel's, minus the rushing yards. I don't see them rushing with Debo as much, you know, because they got Jonathan Taylor. And, you know, also, if you look at the Niners system, that Niners system makes everyone look very good. So to go out, trade a second or first if a team is willing to give a second, which is probably what the Niners will give them for. Give them for. They still have to pay him. And I don't know, man. I, do, I don't see the Colts doing this. I don't see the Colts going and trading for Debo. Do I think they should? No. You know, if you want to win the Super Bowl now, and, you know, if you trade a first-round pick for Debo, right, you're just going to prolong getting the quarterback for the future because we don't have a first this year, so you can't trade the first this year. It will be next year. But then how are we going to get the guy that's going to be the successor to Matt Ryan? Are we going to continue on this quarterback carousel? Are we going to continue on that path? That's not what we want. Michael Pittman Jr., he's going to have a contract due soon. If he has a new quarterback every year, he's not going to want to stay. Especially with how cheap Chris Ballard gets at times. You know, if he doesn't offer him a good amount and the quarterback changes every year, why would he stay? Why? You know, there's not many reasons to stay. Yeah, he loves it. But, you know, at the end of the day, these NFL players have to think about their families. They have to think about, you know, them. It's a business. It's a business. You know, sometimes you got to put, put away that emotional factor with some things. Sometimes you got to put away that, you know, that kind of factor, which sucks. Yeah, but, you know, Debo Samuel, not going to come to Indy. Not going to come to Indy. But there are two other wide receiver options that we're going to talk about. And not today, not in this video, but you have A.J. Brown. You have Kadarius Tony, two wide receivers that are kind of having issues with their teams, it seems like. Kadarius Tony, 
don't really know about you know the issues, but he is but it's reported that the Giants are interested in exploring a trade for Kadarius Tony. I would be okay if the Colts give up a second for him because you know his you know his deal you know or his contract you know is not coming up you know he's still got a solid two three years until he, until he has to get paid and he's still young he has the potential so you're trading for a guy that you already kind of know what he's about but he did have some injury issues last year I don't know if that's what you want to go after when you already have Paris Campbell with injury issues and you already have you know wide receiver room that is kind of thin. So, you guys let me know about Debo Samuel. Should the Colts trade for Debo Samuel? I I don't think so. I don't think they will. If they do, I will be shocked. You know, if Chris Bauer makes any big moves, and you know, any more big moves, NFL might go ahead and drug test the dude. Just, <laughs> just because of how little he really does stuff in this offseason. He's been, he's been pretty active. I really appreciate it because, you know, he's... He does his due diligence. He works, you know, every day of the year. He really knows what he's doing. He's really smart. Even though sometimes we get a little impatient at times, sometimes we get a little mad at him. But trust the process, right? And you know, these last two seasons, of course, have been top ten in offense and defense. Only other team that could say that is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So Chris Ballard is doing something right. He's building it slow, but that's the way to go. You know, and look where he's got the Colts. Even though you know they didn't make the playoffs last year, they still have a very solid roster. And almost right, and every year they could reload and get right back into the conversation. They don't even have the franchise guy. Even though Matt Ryan is a very good quarterback, but they really don't have that guy. You know, and, and Matt Ryan's going to be solid, yeah. But they don't have their future guy. You know, they don't have that insane guy. You know, are they going to get that guy? You know, you know, you don't know. Hopefully you don't, you know, especially if you're picking later. So, you know, hopefully you don't have to pick too high, but at the same time, you know, you can't be scared to go up and trade up for a star quarterback, a quarterback you really like. There's really no too high of a price for a franchise quarterback that would be that would bring a franchise to the promised land. You know, don't forget too, quarterbacks, you know, I, I really like the Chris Bowers being picky with quarterbacks because you see how the quarterbacks are nowadays. They, you know, I mean, rightfully so, they're the most important position. They're getting paid a lot. They're kind of like the second general manager at times. You know, if they're not happy, then, then you know, the team's going to kind of struggle. So... You guys let me know what you think about trading for Diablo Samuel. I, I don't see it happening. It's not going to happen. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that post notification bell on so you miss any future videos. More videos coming out later. More trade scenarios with Kadarius Tony and AJ Brown coming out later. So you guys let me know what you think. Do you think it's going to happen? I say absolutely not. So I'll see you guys later. You have a good one. And that's going to be it. This is JD to the W Sports Talk Show signing off.